Seconds open. And it gets imprinted. Oh, oh my god. You missed it? I don't know. You see, that's the cool part. I don't know. We just hit the shutter button and it happened. So if it was open, I got that. Ever want to do uh, lightning? Want to photograph lightning? You know what's happening? You're like, oh, if I had a camera. Well, yeah, we do. <laughs> I know it's dark. I know it's crazy dark, but watch. You're going to see what we see. I got the Fuji X-T4. I had to figure out what f-stop and how long of a shutter would work. And uh, apparently 20 seconds at 5.6 is worthy. It's on right now, so the camera's eye is open. Look at that, oh my goodness. That is so cool. Jack Jack here is like, sure. that's the coolest thing ever, Dad. I said, I know. <laughs> Channel, uh, last night was very cool. We are down here at the beach with the family. I'm sitting on the balcony last night with my wife and you start seeing a heat lightning happening. And I'm like, ooh, and then I saw a lightning strike. I'm like, yes. Lightning over the water is always so cool. So I grabbed my camera, I just happened to bring my tripod, and these are some long exposure images. Now, what I love about long exposure images is the timing of it, you know? It's like you're, you're look, putting your camera facing this blackness. So to have a long exposure, meaning your shutter is 10 to 20 seconds long so it's open and it's just waiting for light to happen so it paints you know it's called painting with light and if it's open while something happens you're like oh did i get it did i get it and was my f-stop correct i hope i didn't overexpose it because man lightning is bright like you don't realize how bright it is and it's so fast this image was three individual strikes <laughs> And then my camera closed. I'm like, tell me I got that. Dear God, tell me I got that. Yeah, this was absolutely amazing. I just, uh, you know, it's one of those bucket list shots that when I was younger, that was my level of pro photography. Cause when I was growing up, you know, you can buy posters of these kinds of images, you know, at the, at the store used to be bands you can buy posters of and of course there's always cool art stuff and the lightning images always threw me off because I couldn't figure it out like it didn't make sense to me and it was uh it was hard so I am 26 yeah, look at this it's a little breezy out here I am 26 years self-employed I've been doing long exposure the entire time and I can easily say by far Last night was the absolute best exposures I've ever gotten. What Mother Nature gave me was incredible. And thank God I have the knowledge to act fast, make adjustments, and uh, get these things. of all of this is one you got to go practice this like you really do just camera tripod it can't move total blackness and then do something with light and watch watch what happens pay attention to how the light works how bright is something compared to how dark it is it's just fun when you master long exposure photography everything else I think is fairly easy you know shooting fast shutters is easy judging a nightscape and how long of a shutter you need to be open is one just to judge when is the lightning going to strike you don't really know so you want it open for a while so a lot of these were at 800 iso some were at five something iso f56 or even five uh eight at some times because some of those lightning strikes were getting bright and a couple were overexposed i'm like oh let me crank that down two stops that's it, man. That is how I did that image. Um, 
I'm excited about this. If you were not on our Facebook group, you should go there because one, we like to just chit chat about things, but I have these images shared over there. You can click and see them way bigger than what YouTube is possibly showing you at the quality of YouTube. Um, you know, so that's it. <sighs> I am at the beach with the family and it's time for me to uh, go hit the sand. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, till the next video. Stay focused on your dreams. Peace.